Okay, call your question is what should I do if I cannot afford a down payment of a house in America? Is there any other way of getting a house? So, uh, three things. First of all, in order to buy a house, you need to have uh, good credit, number one. Number two, you need to have good income. And then the down payment part. Before the market crash back in 2008-2009, one of the reasons why there was a big problem in that particular year, among other reasons, it happened if someone is working at McDonald's for $12 per hour, can go and be given the house for a half a million dollar home. But in the end, they cannot afford. But they didn't pay about the down payment, whatever. So there was that. It was a down payment, but it was not too much required. But after that market crash, it is almost complicated to apply and get the home without the payment. So what other ways can you be able to do? One of the shortcuts is just joining the military. I joined the military, so for instance, for me, I purchase this home and I just sometimes make the video, this is my home, whatever, you, you, yeah, it's nice. How much money did I pay? I paid 1,000 US dollar just for the cost of inspection. And then I, I got the house key. So I didn't pay the down payment of 20, 30,000. I didn't pay that. I just paid 1,000 for the inspection. So you see the advantage of shortcut joining the military, it gives you that opportunity. But there are other opportunities too. For instance, there are some of the states or some of the cities in the rural areas sometimes of the state, they encourage people to go to those states. They can even give you a free land. Or they can pay you, a, they say they, if you are student loan, they're not, you don't pay as long as you build the home here. So you have to look like if you are okay to, and the future will be okay because people can work from home, you can be able to go into even like Wichita in the middle of Kansas, wherever there, you can be there and you can be able to do that. So there are certain states, they encourage people to move to those states or those cities. You have to look at those ones. And then there are some of the... Uh, some of the programs like if you are the first time home buyer and maybe you are the first generation of whatever this kind of forever you have this income you can be allowed to be forgiven not to be paying the down payment of this amount maybe you'll pay instead of paying 20 percent you maybe pay five percent so there are certain kind of programs but they are not a lot to qualify to be able to get those kind of uh programs to get the uh to get the down payment or not to pay the down payment but basically that's why many people they delay to buy the house because you have to get a uh, apartment uh, to get the down payment this will be one of the pure example uh you can from january to december you might end up not having even one thousand dollar extra cash here in america is normal because the money you get after tax after everything you have to pay for the uh, if you have vehicle loan you have uh, apartment or you would have you have to pay for this so almost the whole amount of money you get this month is going out with all the bills which are already planned for so it's very difficult to say i'm going to save twenty thousand. it's very difficult yeah. what is your take on that that is true so for the person that wants to buy a house but doesn't have enough down payment you can ha there are a few options like ibm has said but if you have somebody that can sponsor you for example if i have a trusted i wouldn't say friend maybe family yeah if you have like a family that you trust they can co-sign co -sign, yeah. with you so when they co-sign they appear on the title or on the house loan so you are you have you have like three people you co-sign so you co-own the house for the period of time then there is what they call um readjustment is it readjustment i don't know uh, if that's the, um uh i forget the actual but but what it means is you are going to pay off the other people that actually paid with you at the start to own the house yeah so you pay a bigger um you pay a sum of money then if you want to get rid of the people that helped you sponsor you at the start you pay so if you if you've been working and you've saved up enough money that is when it happens so i get this amount of money call the bank 
and say you want to do um i forget refinance what uh, res uh, reset what refinance refinance thank you my english is not the best <laughs> But that is what it is. So you refinance, and when you refinance, you can get rid of the other people, but of course you'll have an agreement with them in person. For example, if they lend you like $5,000, have that in person agreement with the other two people or one person. So they're going to lend, in, in actual sense, they are lending you that money so that you can own the house. Then eventually, after maybe one year or two, you pay them off. You kind of give them the money, then you also pay the bank, and that way you can own the house on your own. Although this is quite challenging, because if you cannot own a house, just wait, just keep renting. Yeah. Because if you lose the job that is helping you finance, pay the loan each month, you're going to lose that house, and it yeah. won't be very nice. So for the start, I would say if you don't have that hard cash or any assets to buy the house to pay the down payment it shouldn't be a problem just keep renting pay apartments and then accumulate the enough down payment and then you can buy a house and you can also move to states that are really cheaper you don't need some to say I, I live in california places. just to look like you're in california yes some states are so unaffordable they are so expensive for no reason so you can always move around it's not like in in africa or in uganda where you buy a house and you own the land you own everything when you buy a house here, it doesn't matter. You can sell it in one week and you go somewhere else. Yep. You move to uh, Kansas, you move to Texas. So that is the beauty. So I, I, that is what would be my advice. If you really, really want a house, get a sponsor, get somebody that can help pay for the start, and then you can get rid of them and refinance and continue. And with also, the there also is a, a, have to be a trusted person. And also there is a program called Rent to Own. So you're okay. renting the house, you rent, and then you're coming to own. So in the end, that you don't pay down payment on that. Okay. So you have to find okay. the specific homes with that program. Okay. So you don't so just let me go. To, yeah. Take this call. Okay. I'll be back. Okay. So don't just go and just rent any house. No, there is a proper way of renting to own. Okay. 